Hey there. So I thought I'd do another video update because um, it's an easier way to reach a lot of people. And I think um, this is, I can say a lot more about myself and where I'm at. If I do one of these videos, you can hear my voice and you can see my face and you can see how I'm doing as opposed to if I'm writing something. And I know there's a lot of you out there. And I've been less personally communicating with people um, this fall and really since August and uh because I've been going through a process of dealing with some stuff that happened in my life um the domestic abuse of um you know 2016 to 21 um 2021 um coming in terms of the fact that I could be a you know a large um rather loud opinionated pushy guy um and I could be domestically abused um it took a lot of trying to get to that and uh, in the same way I've dealt with some of the um, some trauma that I had in my early 20s that I had completely pushed under and I understand my motivations and my decisions for doing a whole bunch of things in my life now and how my life was fundamentally um, unsustainable and that I needed to change something I had to do things differently um, I had to be not be I, I had to be myself and I wasn't being myself I was being a persona of myself um, in almost every instance and I didn't even know what the hell it meant to be me and over this year I figured out what it means to be me um, and that's important and that's good and I'm probably in the best mental health state I've ever been in my life um, and I've had these breakthroughs this fall. They're just overwhelming. But I've dealt with these things. And it means that for the last three, four weeks, everything's coming easy. I can deal with my finances responsibly for the first time. Um, I can be consistent with my exercise. I can be consistent with all the things I need to do. And I still feel like I have more time left in my day. And... I'm going, oh, I should do more, I should do more. And I'm realizing at a point in my life, no, I don't have to. I can do nothing if I feel like it. And I'm keeping it easy, trying to keep it easy and not try to push myself too much because at some point I'll, I'll get there and I'll do something more and some different stuff. But right now, I'm just rebuilding the basis, you know, the foundations to what will be the net, you know, my, the sustainable, you know, rest of my life. How many ever more years? 20, 30 possibly more years that I have. Um, I want to live them sustainably. Um, I want, as in, so that my life isn't chaotic and my health is good, as in I want to fundamentally look after my health. And that means not just the physical, but mental health as well. And once I've dealt with those, then I think I can move on with everything else in my life. I am a bit... <sighs> it's a bit overwhelming with all these things I've been going through and I'm sort of part of me going, please just stop. Let me take a break. Um, but there's another part of me is going, you're so close to like, I am truly undercover uncovering the things I needed to know years ago. Um, I have a really good counselor right now, a friend of recommended to me and this counselor has been shockingly good. His friend has also been incredibly good at um, pointing things out to me in ways that don't feel judgmental or make me feel defensive, but are just short little ways. And this is like, oh, right. I don't even think she knows she does it when she does it, but just. Um, and I am reading this book, which my video is going to be turned around backwards because of you know, whatever. It's called um, Taking a Break from Saving the World, a Conservation Activist's Journey from Burnout to Balance by uh, Stephen Legault. Um, I bought it actually a year ago as I was going to the floods um, in Abbotsford. And I started put it this, I started reading it. And it's like, wow. And I meant to get back to it, but I didn't. And I started reading it again and it's good. It's very good for me on so many levels. And anyway, my health. 
still have balance issues. I still have virtually no hearing on my right side. My vision on the right side is much, much, much better, but it's still not perfect. My taste is still down. Um, but my physical endurance want, want, ask me to go walk five, 10 kilometers. Yeah, not a problem. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not going to be fast. I'm going to be walking like, say, four and a half K per hour, maybe five. Um, but I can do, I can walk seemingly without end now, um, as long as I'm not going, I'm not trying to push myself too fast. Um, and that feels really good. So it's all going in the right direction. Anyway, hopefully people will find something interesting in this and hopefully I can, it'll help you understand where I'm at and I'll see if I post this or not.